Word of Faith Netcast is on the air. Well, praise God. Greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Word of Faith Netcast. I'm glad you can join us once again for the Word of Faith Netcast. We've got some great things happening. Hallelujah, I tell you. Woo, I'm excited about the things we have going on with SpeakFaith.tv. That's our very own Roku channel. Now, those of you that say, well, I don't know what a Roku channel is, Dr. Bill. Well, I'll tell you what. It's a little plastic box that you can purchase and plug into your TV set and your internet connection and receive high-definition TV right over the internet to your TV set. Brother Kenneth Copeland has his own channel. Kenneth Hagen Ministries has their own channel. Uh, there's some tremendous teaching out there and word messages out there. I tell you what, you need to get a Roku box, set it up at your house, and take advantage of all the great teaching that's available over the Roku. But I'm excited about our very own Roku channel, Speak Faith dot tv and all you have to do is go to our website wofm.org look in the lower right hand corner there's a red banner there click that there's some links there where you can purchase a roku box once you get your roku box get it set up at your house create your roku account then you can go to the roku channel store look under religion and spirituality which is one of their headers and you'll find speakfaith.tv. It's bright blue with a bright red speakfaith.tv shield. Matter of fact, I'll put that logo right up here, right up there, <laughs> in the corner so you can see it and uh, and see what that is going to look like when you get into the Roku and start looking through the channel store. But go ahead and click on and, and get that channel set up because then you can get this very program. You can get Pastor Ed's program, and very soon... Big news, very soon you'll be able to get Dr. Jerry Savelle's program whew, from Jerry Savelle Ministries. Hallelujah, he'll be on speakfaith.tv. That's the first of more that will be coming because we proclaim the word of faith. We're a showcase of ministries, which means we have all these ministries that are teaching the word of faith that will be on speakfaith.tv, and we train people to fulfill the word of God. Praise God. So I'm excited about that. Now, let's go into the conclusion of our teaching on the fact that you, you have a destiny in God. So I had heard Brother Hagin talk about the life of God. He said, I tapped into the life of God and I began to study and I said, I, I will have supernatural recall of everything I need to remember. And he said, I made straight A's in school. Well, he got a hold of it when he was 16. I got a hold of it much later. I was in my 20s. I'd already gone through college, I was out of college, and now I was going back to school for computers. And I'm sitting there going hexadecimal, binary, logic, if, then, else, or. But I said, bless God, i got the life of God in me. Bless God, I'm going to know this, I'm going to study this, I'm going to stay with this. I made straight A's. I'm talking miracle, the Red Sea parting. I mean, literally. And I would study and study and study, and I would play it over and over in my head, and I made A's in all of my computer courses. Summa cum laude. Hallelujah. And it was all God, because it wasn't me. But then, it's like everything clicked. Everything came to me. It just, all the whole computer world just came together. Because I relied on His ability, not my ability. And of course now, what's 30 plus years? And of using computers, it's all second nature now. It's like, well, of course I know this. Everybody knows this. Well, no, not everybody does, but praise the Lord. It worked for me because I relied on something beyond myself. Same thing with our lives and our destiny. God's got a plan, but guess what? People are saying, well, if I knew what it was, I'd be doing it. Well, then you're not tapping in. We have the mind of Christ. Past tense, we have. Have? That means I possess it. See, I have this phone. It's mine. It belongs to me. All right? I don't have to hope to have a phone. I have a phone. 
Okay? I don't hope to have the mind of Christ. I've got the mind of Christ. I have access to the deep things of God. So don't think I can't know my destiny. You can know your destiny because you've got ta- you're tapped in. You're hooked up, dude, to the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. All right, let's keep reading here. Who can know these things but the Spirit of God? Verse 12. Now, now, we have received, have received, in past tense, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God. Why have we received the Spirit which is of God? That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Wow. That we might know. Not that we might guess. Not that we might hope. But that we might know the things of God because he's freely given them to us. He's not holding out. The wisdom is hidden, but it's hidden for us, not from us. That's a very important distinction. Your destiny, your direction in life is not hidden from you. It's hidden, so the devil doesn't know what's going on, but it's hidden for you. But it is hidden, which means you have to tap into it. It's not just going to come up to you like ripe apples off a tree. You're going to have to apply yourself to know these things. You're going to have to apply yourself to hook into what you already have access to. It's like the old illustration, good illustration, of a guy who somebody deposits a million dollars in his bank account, and he comes and tells you, you now have a million dollars in your bank account. And you go, I don't believe that. I don't believe you put a million dollars in my bank account. You can have the checkbook in your hand. If you don't write the checks, you don't get the benefit. But you know the entire time you had a million dollars in your bank account, you just never wrote a check on it. And you're, you're, you're scrimping and pinching pennies and trying to do the best you can, and you've got a million dollars in your account. Write the check. Amen? Well, same thing. We have access into the deep things of God. God has freely given us knowledge. He's freely given us. He's breathed puffs of inspiration into us. But we're not writing the checks. We're not tapping in. We're not making decisions to listen and pay attention to what God wants to do in our lives. All right. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these great and precious promises you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. In other words, we have partaken of God's divine nature. We have the Spirit of God within us. We have access into His divine nature. Romans chapter 8. I'm going to go through some of these fairly quickly. Romans chapter 8, verse 15. For we have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but we've received the spirit, God's spirit, of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit himself, and I realize King James says itself, but it's him. He is a he. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children and heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs of Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we might also be glorified together with him. In other words, we have in our human spirit the Holy Spirit, and he is bearing witness to us. He's sharing this information with us. All right, 1 Peter chapter 1. This is the, the last scripture that I want to cover, but I want to give you a little example of what I'm talking about after I give you this scripture. 1 Peter 1, 5 in the King James says, who are kept by the power of God through faith and the salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. But I like what the Message Bible says. Listen to the Message Bible. Same verse. God is keeping careful watch over us and the future. The day is coming when you'll have it all. Life healed and whole. Check that first part out. God is keeping careful watch over us and our God has a future. He has a destiny. He has a plan for us. Now, let me give you a quick example of what I'm talking about and how I believe you can tap into this. 
you probably heard me tell you before many years ago, August of 1980, I was pastoring at the time, and I was about to get up and preach that uh, Sunday evening at church, and I was sitting on the front row, and my associate pastor was up making announcements, and he was about to introduce me, and, and I was sitting there, and I could see it clear as right today as it was happening right now. I was sitting there, and the Lord spoke to me, and I didn't hear an audible voice, you know. If you were sitting there with me, you wouldn't have heard it, but down in my spirit, I heard, you will proclaim the word of faith be a showcase of ministries, and train people to fulfill the Word of God. And I went, wow. Well, I wrote that down, and I dated it, and I, you know, signed it, and I had my little notebook there. And then I got up and preached it. I hadn't even studied any scriptures. So I'm just going through going, well, you know, uh, hallelujah. <laughs> but I preached it that night, but then I started meditating on it. I'll proclaim the Word of faith. I'll be a showcase of ministry. Lord, what's a showcase? Well, a showcase is a display case where you display your finest things. Okay. All right, showcase. Ministries. So not just my ministry, but other people's ministries. Well, that's the health ministry. Lord, I'm going to help people get their ministry out there where people can hear it. Okay. All right. So I begin to meditate on this. See, he revealed a word. You know the difference between a word and a novel? Word short. <laughs> There's only one of those, it's a word. But the whole novel is made up of a whole bunch of words. So he'd given me a word, and I had to meditate on it to get the novel. Okay? I had to get the rest of the information I needed. And so as the years went by, now 1980 to now is a bunch of years. Somebody help. 42 years? 32 years, thank you. See, I told you math was not my strong suit. 32 years, hallelujah. So 32 years ago, in August, the Lord told me that. And I've been thinking about it ever since. I've been meditating on it ever since. I've been turning it over in my mind. What does that mean, Lord? Proclaim the word of faith. Okay, I'm pretty much clear on that. i got to teach the word of faith. Not the word of doubt and unbelief. The word of faith, which Paul said he preached. I'm in good company. Yeah. Okay. So the word of faith, all right, I got that. We'll, we'll go with the word of faith. Not the word of anything else. Not whatever the latest fad is, but the word of faith. Word of faith is what I'm going to preach. You know what? My ministry is called Word of Faith Ministry. I wonder why. <laughs> Hallelujah. So Word of Faith Ministry is incorporated. I formed it in 1980, right after this happened. And, and I did all the legal work and everything. And it's because I teach the word of faith. Now, showcase of ministry. That took a little more understanding. I began to understand that what I needed to do was help other ministries. So I started teaching them how to do a radio program. I started teaching them how to do publications. I started putting together, how do you do this? How do you do that? And this, I'm talking back in the 80s. You know, there was no Internet that like we know it. Now, the Internet's been around since the 60s, but there was no World Wide Web. It wasn't public. People weren't using it the way they are today. So I used the technologies I had at hand to do. Well, I've always been interested in technology. So that just tied right into the showcasing ministries. And then the web did come along in 1992, and I got involved in that and started doing websites. Well, then I started doing websites for folks, showcasing ministries. See? Then train people to fulfill the Word of God. Well, that's the teaching ministry. So I began to train people. I got involved with Life Christian University. I got my doctorate, and I started teaching, and I started doing all these different things, and writing uh, articles and putting it on the web and doing all these things training people to fill the Word of God. Then I started doing video, 2005 or so. Got involved in video, started doing video. And all of that happened toward a direction, toward a purpose, toward a destiny. And then recently, I was sitting right back there, and the Lord said something to me in the middle of prayer one Sunday night. You know we've been having prayer on Sunday nights. If we turn the lights down, we get it all nice and quiet, and everybody's praying in the Holy Ghost. I'm back there praying, and the Lord said something to me again, kind of like what he did <laughs> that one Sunday night. He said, it's time for a Word of Faith Roku channel. And I thought, well, praise God, that sounds great, doesn't it? I, mean, I can turn the Roku channel on now and, and see doubt and unbelief. I mean, Word of Faith. I said, Lord, I'm with it. I'm for you. I, Word of Faith Roku channel, that sounds great. 
But I immediately thought, now check this. I immediately thought, I don't have the money. Yeah, it'd take a lot of money to develop a Roku channel, and I don't know how to do it, and I'd have to hire somebody to do it. I don't need money, you know? Well, so then I thought, wait a minute, then i got to get creative. So, here's what I'll do. I know. Brother Hayden, Pastor Hayden, he can do it. He's got the money. And what I need to do is I need, I know that he's coming to Pastor's house, and Pastor's going to have him there and have supper. So what I'll do is I'll get a Roku in Pastor's house, and I'll get it set up, and I'll say, now, Pastor, the only thing I ask is that you show Brother Hagin so he can create a Roku channel. And so he said, yeah, okay, I'll do that. So Brother Hagin came to Pastor's house, had supper with him. He demoed the Roku channel, and within two months, Brother Hagin had a Roku channel. And I went, hallelujah, glory to God. Oh, Lord, thank you for using me, Lord. Well, see, that was my plan. You know, I figured I did what I could do. I was there. I said, here you go. And, and I felt good about it. I really did. I felt like, wow, this is great. Well, then Brother Copeland got a Roku channel. I'm like, oh, man, this, I'm in the flow now. Hallelujah. But it still kept going around him. We need a word of faith Roku channel. I said, well, now, Lord, we got a, Brother Hagen's got one. Brother Copeland's got one. We got word of faith Roku channel now. He said, we need a Word of Faith Roku channel. And it finally clicked in my mind. Word of Faith meaning Word of Faith Ministries, meaning our ministry needs a Roku channel. But Lord, I don't have the money. I don't have the knowledge to program one. So I went to a class in Atlanta, Georgia. Make a long story short. I'm sitting in class, and they had a break in the class. And it was a class on a technical thing that I, had, I went to Atlanta for. But I'm sitting there going, and I'm surfing. That's what you do on break. You know, so I'm surfing. And I said, what does it take to develop a Roku channel? I plugged that into Google, and I went through, and I'm looking at websites. And this one website jumped out at me. And a part of the website, this guy said, if you would like to develop a Roku channel, I can probably help you just send me an email. Well, you know, you don't know unless you do the research, so I'll find out what it costs. So I sent him the email. This is what I want to do. He sends me an email back, says, I think I can do it for you this weekend. Now, I'm thinking, wait a minute, this is Wednesday. I'm in class in Atlanta. He says he can get it done by this weekend. I'm like, you know, this is interesting. I'm thinking this is a divine appointment. So he sends back and says, not only can I do it this weekend, but uh, I've looked at your website and your ministry, and I'm just going to do it for you for free. So I went, hallelujah. So he writes the code, puts it all together, does a, a demo channel, and says, what do you think? And I'm like, and then he said, oh, by the way, here's the instructions on how to develop it, and here's the instructions on how to tweak it, and he gave me all the knowledge and information I needed to do it myself. So then I could tweak it and design it and change it, and I got it working, and it was a beta channel where nobody could tap into it unless they knew it was there. And that's fine, but you don't get a whole lot of viewers if, if it's secret, you know what I'm saying? So after I developed it, I said, all right, how do I submit it? So I did some research, and I found out how to submit it to be a permanent, official, sanctioned channel that's in their channel store. And I wrote them. I heard nothing. That was March, April, May, June. So I, I sent an email, nice, sweet email to them. Hi there. I submitted my channel. I haven't heard anything. Could you maybe let me know what I'm lacking? No. So I sent another email. Hi there. Sweet, kind. Is there anything I can do to expedite this? Finally, I get an email back. Uh, sorry, we've been busy. Uh, tell you what, you need to do this, this, and you got this to tweak. And I said, oh, okay. So I dig into that. And he says, you got this problem. I fixed that. And I resubmitted it. Another month goes by. Now it's G, uh, July. And suddenly I get an email. By the way, it's been approved and it's now in the channel store. I went, wow. So I was sitting in the living room and I went, wow. And Melinda went, what? <laughs> and I said, they approved the channel. So I went to the channel store and there it was, speakfaith.tv, right there. And I was like, wow. 
So then I thought, wow, it's, it's been introduced to the channel store. I wonder how long it will take before people start connecting. Wow. First day, we had 200 people connect. Now, when I say 200 people, we're talking households. They connect and the whole family gets to see it. 200 the first day. 400 the second day. We're now up to almost 900 households. And they haven't even advertised yet. Last night I got another email that says, we have entered you into our uh, search system, and here's your write-up. If you'd like to tweak it or change it, change it, let us know. So I sent back and said, yeah, if you can tweak this and fix that. So now it's going into their advertising base, and the more people connect, the more advertising they'll do. And the more people connect, the more people we reach. So now all of our messages here, and all of our videos, and all of the videos we do through Word of Faith Ministries are going into over 800 homes around the world. And I thought about all that and I thought, wow, oh, this is great. And that's when the Lord told me, that's because it's destined. That's because I'm directing it. Who told you to start the channel? He did. I was sitting right back there. I, didn't, I had no idea. I mean, it wasn't a matter of did I have desire. I didn't even think about it. Until he said, we need a Word of Faith Roku channel. And I went, but I can't. See, that was me. That was, the, that was the mind saying, you don't have the resources. Well, God is God. He's got resources. He can do divine connections. Not even any money changed hands. People say, I can't do anything for God. I don't have the finances. You don't need finances. You need God. So, see, what I'm saying is, you say, well, Brother Bill, that's great he did that for you. Well, he'll do it for you, too. He's no respecter of person. The difference is, pray. Seek God. Find out what you are to do, what your destiny is. Or, Dr. Bell, I don't have a destiny. Yes, you do. It may not have anything to do with video. It may not have anything to do with Roku. It may not have anything to do with preaching the gospel, even. Maybe it's that he wants you to be a billion trillionaire and finance the gospel, so he's going to give you some amazing invention that you're going to invent and patent and put out there and have a thousand people working for you in some big corporation. I have no idea. It's your destiny, not mine. But you need to tap into it because once you tap into it, that's where the excitement is. You talk about fun. You talk about getting excited. You, you ask Belinda and Ben, man, I sat there. When I, the night that it was officially approved, I stayed up till 2.30 that morning sending out emails and writing letters and, you know, promoting and, and social networking and, you know, I mean, I'm just promoting it. And I'm staying up till 2.30 in the morning. I was so excited I couldn't sleep because I was so thrilled at it. You say, well, whoopie do. that's not my, I'm not excited about that. Fine, that's because it's not your destiny. See what I'm saying? I'm excited because I'm tapping into what God's got for me to do. But see, he's also got something for you to do. And most likely, since you're a member of Faith and Victory Church, it's through Faith and Victory. It's something you need to be doing here. It may be something you need to be doing in your own personal life or your own job or, or whatever. You know, God has given you and opened an opportunity and you're, you jumped on that and now it's developing and you're looking like, wow, this is more than I can ask or think. That's the thought that it occurred to me when it came to this channel. I thought, this is more than I can ask or think. I would have never even thought about developing a channel like this. And now it's really opening up because Brother Harold with Word of Faith Radio said, oh, by the way, I was talking to Jerry Savelle Ministries, and, and they're wanting to know if they can go and speak faith by some people. And I went, sure, yeah. And then he said, I can get you in touch with other ministries that we have on Word of Faith Radio that have video programs. And I'm like, a Word of Faith Roku channel. <laughs> it doesn't have to be just Faith and Victory Church or Word of Faith Ministries. It could be Jerry Savelle and all these other people that don't have their own channel, don't have their own people that are technical that understand how to put that together, but can just say, here you go, put it out there. And then we can put all that word out there on one channel that people can connect to. And being speakfaith.tv, it's not tied specifically, it's just speak faith, it's the word. So, praise the Lord. So I'm seeing a future. 
I'm seeing great things. A whole, you know, developed system of video teaching throughout the world. And see, that's the other thing. God gave me insight, knowledge, and ability to be able to make this the highest level technically. I'm using technologies like Amazon's S3 and stuff that huge major corporations are using. But he's given me access to it and the ability to, to put it out there. And we have a second-to-none infrastructure for this channel. And I'm like, well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for using me to do this. It's so humble. It has nothing to do with me personally. It has everything to do with tapping into the destiny he has for you. Which is why I want you to tap into the destiny he has for you. Because you ought to be having as much fun as I am. Do you do that? <laughs> I am just, I mean, it's fun. It is fun, fun, fun. And I get to play with stuff and technologies and things that just, just turn my motor into overdrive. So that's me. You have something that's just as exciting. So pray. Have faith in the fact that God's given you the deep things of God, giving you insight. Be open to receive. And you will be amazed at what he has for you. But let's pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity we've had this morning to come, receive instruction, and really, Lord, just remind us. That's, that's what this has been, is a reminder of what we have available to us and that we can tap into these things and we have a destiny. Father, we thank you that you care enough so much for us that you've given us a future. You've given us a destiny. You've given us a direction that is exciting and interesting and fascinating to be involved in. And Father, we're excited about that. We're just we're open to tap into it. So, Father, give us instruction, give us direction, not only for us personally, but for the church. And, of course, speaking to Pastor Ed about that, all of what you have for us to do, we just want to be right in the middle of the flow of what you have for us to do. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Well, I trust you enjoyed that message. Praise the Lord. Uh, we took the last three shows to cover that message that we taught at Faith and Victory Church. I didn't say before I started the teaching, but I've said it on several of the other programs before this, that we had some audio problems that day with the microphone. A little different sound of the audio, but the quality was enough that you could hear it and understand it, so I didn't want to share it with you. But I tell you what, I'm excited we had an opportunity to share that message with you and all the good things that are happening. Woo, I'm telling you, good stuff. Praise the Lord. You can write me here at Word of Faith Ministries, our address, Word of Faith Ministries, P.O. Box 5213-5213, High Point, North Carolina, the zip code 27262. And, of course, you can also write me here at our email address, very quick and easy to remember, and that is Dr. Bill, D-R-B-I-L-L, at W-F-M dot O-R-G. I've got it right up here on the screen so that you can use that to send me email. I appreciate hearing from you, and I tell you what, I'm excited about what God's doing in these last of the last days. Amen? Well, join us next time. Remember, until then, to fulfill the Word of God. The Word of Faith Netcast is brought to you by Word of Faith Ministries and our partners around the world.